So Nancy Pelosi has a new idea on how to reach out to millennials. Take a look at what she's doing. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi will be a guest judge on this, this season of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. Nancy, thank you for being a hero among millennials. She's really fighting for the issues that you guys care deeply about. You know, student loan debt, big issue. She's fucking, she's out there fighting, you know. Uh, medical bills, she's, she's out there fighting for, for you to fix our healthcare system. Actually, what she's doing is she's raising uh, more money from corporate PACs than virtually any other uh, Democrat in the House. And um, she's going on RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. See, but no, I need you to get that she really thinks like, oh, this is going to go over great. People are going to love me when I uh, take time to not give a fuck about any of the real problems that are facing them, and I am on a TV show. So detached from reality, man. They're so detached from reality. She brags about being the, one of the biggest fundraisers in the Democratic Party. She brags about it. Like, oh, I sell out better than anybody else. And I'll be back. I'm just going to go on this fucking TV show. This isn't what people elected you to do. She opposes Medicare for all, by the way. 80% of Democrats are for Medicare for all. She's not for Medicare for all. <laughs> you're not cool. You're not hip. You're not with it. You're a corporatist standing in the way of progress in this country and standing in the way of making everybody's life better. The Democrats, uh, you know sometimes tell you nice things and they stab you in the back. At least the Republicans tell you up front, I hate you and I'm going to try to ruin your life. <laughs> That's the difference. Democrats are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Republicans are a wolf. That's what it is. Okay, so I read the article here. This is the only mention of her in the article. They're talking to RuPaul. He says, We love Nancy Pelosi. I can only imagine the story she could tell of strength and survival and of shape-shifting, really. That's something all of our queens and people who live outside the box can relate to. The show's influence is also evidence at, uh, evident at DragCon, essentially the Comic-Con of drag, which pulls in thousands of fans, many of whom are children too young to see their favorite queens perform at bars. RuPaul says it's those young people who, quote, get it versus members of an older generation who are fixed in their identities and roles in society. But still, he has a different take on the younger generation's emphasis on identity labels and using them to gain recognition in today's political climate. Quote, Humans like to put things in a box so they can assimilate them and go. Oh, okay. so they can assimilate them and go, Oh, okay, I got you now, he says. You know, tattoos are rarely for the person who has the tattoo. The tattoo is usually for other people to look at you and sort of interpret what you are. You can discuss all you want. You're not going to get everybody to agree that the color blue is specifically the way you see it, he says. What? <laughs> what are you... What are you saying? I, this, this is all the Democrats have left. Is... Let's, we're going to try to be hip and cool. And, oh, look, we're down with the kids. See, we like identity politics. Hey, I don't despise trans people or gay people. I want to let you be whoever you want to be. Yay. You want to wear purple hair and fucking get tattoos? Hey, that's cool. I'm with you. But then that's it. That's all the Democrats do is I don't, I don't despise you. Um, you could act however you want to act, be whoever you want to be. But t don't you dare ask me to get you a living wage. Don't you dare ask me to end the wars. You want me to end the wars? I'm not going to end the wars. Maybe I'll take it from the eight countries we're bombing now to seven countries. And then you should fucking thank me. But uh, Medicare for all? You want me to cover everybody in the country with health care like every other modern country? And cut the price in half? I can't do that. I got to serve these insurance companies. This is what the Democrats have left. Listen, I... Also do agree. You can be whatever you want. I don't give a fuck what you are. You be whatever you want to be. If you're trans, be trans. You're gay, be gay. You want to fucking express yourself through, you know, tattoos and body art? By all means, I'm not fucking against you. But the Democratic Party is using support for you as a diversion. It is a red herring. This is what they do. They go, oh, 
The other side hates black people and immigrants and gay people and trans people. I do not hate black people and, and gay people and immigrants and trans people. That's all I have to say, right? You'll go vote for me now? No! No, that's not enough! You know what I file that under? Duh is what I file that under. I file that under duh. <laughs> you don't despise people who are slightly different from you. Duh! Duh! But they stop there. They stop there because they can't go further because their donors won't let them go further. And RuPaul, of course, is doing nobody any favors except Nancy Pelosi by having Nancy Pelosi on, on the show. Because this is another way for Nancy to go, I'm with the kids. The kids love me. I'm going to continue to deny to fight for you in the realm of economics and foreign policy and health care. I'm not going to fight for you at all there. <laughs> but at least I'm on the show and I'm surrounded by cool people and I'm down with the identity politics. So, yeah. Isn't that... Don't you like me? No, Nancy, we don't like you. And she has uh, a an opponent. A primary opponent. Stephen Jaffe. So go check him out. If that's your district, I would recommend going to vote for him. Going to support him. Canvas for him. Donate to him. All that stuff. Because I cannot stand Nancy Pelosi. She's one of the biggest in the mic resistance that there is. She's one of the first in line... To buckle whenever the Republicans want anything. And she's not for any of the populist left policies that you want. Same with Dianne Feinstein. A, a reliable center-right vote. She voted for the fucking Bush tax cuts and the Iraq war and the Patriot Act. Analysis done. You have to support Allison Hartson over Dianne Feinstein. So... Let's get these guys out of office because they, they're, they're useless. They're useless. She cares more about her own self-aggrandizement and feeling like she's a celebrity than actually doing her job and fighting for the people.